You're being a bit impatient, aren't you, Sonic? Don't worry, we have plenty of time. This is Mega Man NG, and we're ready to tackle the Seaside Hill Challenges. In our last episode, we tackled the classic... No, it was the modern City Escape Challenges. So, we have ourselves a little nostalgia here for this one. Rescue the animals. Never thought I'd be seeing our animal friends again after so long. The first challenge for Seaside Hill is rescue the animals. We need to save a set number of captured animals from capsules and reach the goal in time. Similar to as it was in every classic Sonic game where you always beat up bad nicks and they always release animals. Or at the end stage where you can like destroy the capsules and you release a whole bunch of animals. Now the whole point of this is that we need to do this in under a minute and 40. So the more capsules we destroy, the more animals we free. And I always like it. It's so beautiful out in sunset. Oh great, I hit a reverse. Let me try that again, because I hope I didn't waste a few extra seconds. And we just destroyed another one. And we gotta watch out for that rotating thing, because that'll be problematic. And we already destroyed four capsules, and every capsule released releases 14 animals. So I think we need to destroy a certain amount. And we get higher, another round of castles destroyed, and another one, gotta watch out for that enemy who has a thunder shield, well we destroyed him nonetheless, so who cares, let's move on. Alright, so we already have 98 animals freed, okay, let's just keep moving, alright, another one, that makes another 14. Oh great, I lost my rings. And I may not be able to make it for the S rank, so who cares? Ah oh, great, that's gonna make me lose more time. And we gotta wait and wait and wait just to get that done, and we are finished here. Oh great. That means I gotta hurry and time my moves right and shoot! Damn it! Great, I lost the S rank. All because I'm so clumsy. Doesn't matter, let's just move on. I don't think we'll be able to make it at this point, so who cares? We already got all the councils we need. Let's just reach the end. Since they give us a lot of time to complete it. Though only for the speedrunners, they could really be determined. And we complete another set of capsules. So we've already gotten enough, so there's no need to worry. And we got an extra five seconds. So it doesn't make up for the fact that we lost a lot of time trying to get up there. And those dang things are a real pain in the butt. Now we gotta wait it out. And they're like Ferris wheels for some reason. And we gotta move here, move here, and we should be able to reach the end. Provided I can make it. Alright, and we're done. My, 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 that was a major time waster. But who cares? At least we got the A rank, so I'm happy with that. One challenge down, only four remain. And if we get the third key, we can be able to make it to the boss and take on the real threat. Well, not really. We say that for the end, but I think every boss gate key leads us to a tougher boss. And I think we should be able to find out what's in here. And it's another music one. And this one is a new venture. I don't know what that is, but I'm hoping to find out. Let's check on this challenge here. Challenge 2. Doppelganger race. Like every level before us, there is always a doppelganger race where you have to make it to the end in the fastest time, provided you don't screw up along the way. And no Aqua Shield is going to save me this time. This is going to require a lot of skill. So, let's get to it and get it over with. The time to beat is 2 minutes and 50 seconds, and right off the bat, I just lost a few I lost a few ranks. At least my jumps will be always so ever reliable. Yep, made it upwards. And I screwed up on the spin dash. At this point, Sonic will be able to catch up. Though at this point, he's already ahead. Let's just head up. Let's just head lower. We gotta move fast though, because if we don't, we're gonna end up losing a lot of time. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. We should be able to head upwards. Ah, great. Why did I hit the spikes? And I lost a lot of rings, too. Oh, crap. And did I make it? No, I didn't. I didn't make it, which sucks. It absolutely sucks. Let's just start over because I really hate having to go through all that again. Made worse because I wasted a lot of time underwater. So let's just try getting to the high road as much as possible. And looks like so far so good. Yeah, very nice. Provided I don't get hit in the process. God, I hate it when that happens. Alright, so far so good. And even the Sonic himself, the doppelganger, needs oxygen. Alright, made it upwards. Alright, now we've got a plenty of time. Alright. I just keep moving. Alright, well, I think we should be able to reach the high point. Gotta make sure I make the jump. And we made it. Not before I lose a lot of rings. I don't care. Let's just keep moving. Oh, great. I'm gonna end up losing it. Four. Three. Two. One. Yes, that was close. Yeah, and I get hit again. Yay. That is just so dumb. Let's just keep moving, because we're running low in time. And thanks to our friend, we were able to make it across. Let's just speed our way through. And we got hit again. Yay. Yeah, I know. It's going to get repetitive as we progress with the tougher challenges. And we should be able to make it down. Nice. Never thought I'd be able to do that. Come on. Got about a minute or so left. Mm-hmm. Alright, so far so good. We made it. Nice. Now we need to take the cannon all the way through. Okay, that's good. Alright. And thanks to our whale friend, we got a much needed boost. Or not, because now we have to go under. Yeah, that's going to make me waste time even more. This is going to suck. Or not. Two. And we go all the way across. Into the water. And it's going to be just like Labyrinth Zone. Oh, great. Got to head up. I'll just take the low route. And we got plenty of air. And we make it through in one piece. And we got that thing again. Here we go. Oh yeah, the A-Ring's a lot more linear now. Lenient, basically. Now the time is 4 minutes and 5 seconds. And we take the jump. Ah, that was terrific. Ah, that was just terrific. Nice. I can't believe I got smashed. But no matter, we made it. So we got the A rank. Let's just move on. At least I don't have to worry about dealing with that anytime soon. We still have three more challenges to complete. I only hope they don't get any harder than they already are. Not to mention where I'm at, things are going to get a little cloudy and a little rainy. Not to mention I'm sweaty because I had to turn off the fan so that way the fans don't interfere with the noise of my commentary. And it's an art one, which means we got artwork number 105. I wonder, this. oh yeah, there is another one we can get up there. Through up here. We got, it means we have to go all the way across here just to get the other three challenges. But it doesn't matter. Alright, these are the last three. And there's the third boss key, we'll pick it up later. That's underwater challenge. And we got all three boss keys, so I wonder what does that lead? Oh, where's the third one? Where's the third one? I, I really am trying to find it. No, should be here somewhere. Come on. 
Oh, great. This is going to be a major time waster for me, trying to find the last three keys. And yes, we have to go through that city escape shtick again. Five, four, three. Oh, great. So now we need to find another way to get up there. This is just terrific. Ah, there's no way we're going to get up there. There's the boss gate door. We should be able to worry about that later. Now I gotta find a way to get up there. And I gotta go through here again. But I'm trying to find out how do I get up there. Yeah, hearing that city escape thing gets redundant over time. And... Oh, wait, I didn't time my jump? So you're telling me I have to go up there just to reach it? Ah, this is terrific. Now to find a way to get up there. Oh, I have to use a spin dash for that. Okay. Alright, should have never thought of that in the first place. Now it's time for challenge three. Espio, Way of the Ninja. What we need to do is press the triangle to have Espio attach the rope to the hooks to reach the goal in time. Provided if it's not like the other ones where you have to fly, where you have to use the pinko hammer, etc, etc. I think we'll manage. Besides, I've already wasted a lot of time as it is just trying to get up there. Alright, let's just hope we can get this over with. Yep, a true ninja. Oh wait, you have to... Okay. Okay, now I get it. Alright. And we made it upwards. This is actually pretty interesting for a challenge like this. Nice. Yeah, and it has that balloon park theme, so I can manage it just fine. And we got an extra 10 seconds. Alright. Oh, great. I got hit. Nah, okay. Not really nice, but good enough. And we got up. Let's just hit the cannon. The time to beat here is a minute and a half. So we gotta make every move count. Yup, gotta make every single move count. Upwards, higher and higher. Alright, we should be able to head upwards. Yep, left, right. Nice. Okay, I get it. You need to move the left and right just to reach up there. Okay. Alright, that's pretty good. At least I'm doing fine. Oh, great. Be careful not to fall off. Oh, great! I fell! That was terrific. That just made me waste a few seconds. Or not. Okay, left, right. Oh, great, I fell. That's terrific. That's gonna make me lose even more time. Yeah, this is hilarious. Not to mention it's trying to reach up there is ridiculous. Okay, left, right. Okay, oh, great. That means I lose again. Oh, this is stupid. This is just absolutely stupid. All right. All righty then. Oh, no. Yeah, this is what I hate about this level a lot. Oh, my God. Let's try this one more time. Okay, so left, right. All right, made it. And it was at the end, too. What the hell? I want to forget it. I'm just not going to deal with that anymore. I just want to get to the last two challenges and get it over with. At least Modern Sonic will have things a little differently than in the classic. Can't believe I lost so much in it. This calls for some major fail. Alright, let's just get this out of the way so that way we can move on to the last two challenges. And it's a music track. Yeah, and we got High Flying Groove. I don't know what that song is, but I'll be able to find out. Yeah, and hearing that theme gets really redundant. Okay, so now we tackle the last two. Alright, Challenge 4, High Speed Hijinks. Enemies move and shoot at double speed. Not just the enemies, but the rings and even the environment. Which means things are going to get a little heckish, believe me. I only hope the load times are a little nicer to me this time around because I'm on a deadline. And I got other things to do than to just waste my time doing this. 
No offense to everyone intended, but I have other priorities. Alright. Oh, great. Now the environment moves faster. That's terrific. Okay. One. Alright, so we have to move... Oh, great. We have to time our moves right. Alright. Yep, we made it to the top. We gotta move quickly. And we hit the cannon. Very good. Now we hit the high road, which is a relief. And we get the extra 10 rings. Yeah. Mm-hmm, we got the extra 5 seconds. This should help us. And their laser reach speed is quicker. That means we gotta keep moving quick. Yup. Very, very good. Oh, man, I got smashed. Wow. At least I don't get hit from the spikes, which is a good thing. Alright. Deadly drops, so we gotta move tread carefully. Ah, great. I gotta time my jump right. Well, at least it didn't fall. Okay, so I think we made it, so... That's pretty good. We got an S rank here. We only have one more, and then that's it for the classic Seaside Hill. At least I won't be going back through any of these ever again. Unless I really want to do time attack and such. But either way, I can manage just fine. Provided my friends don't mind me waiting since I'm hard at work doing videos. And I do them for fun, nothing else. And this one's an art one. So I do think he's going to... Yeah, great. I can't believe I hit the bell again. And, yep, artwork number 106. And now for the last one. The last one in Classic Sonic Seaside Hill Challenges. Number 5, Underwater Challenge. Keep a watchful eye of the underwater terrain and you can get to the goal in time. We're going to be underwater for this whole mission. And it's going to be a really tough cookie. Alright, let's just hope today gets a little better for us. Hopefully, since all I have up next is the modern challenges, and they're going to be a real challenge indeed. Alright, time we hit under. The time to beat is a minute and 40. And we got work to do. Gotta keep our eyes on the terrain and you'll do fine. And I gotta watch out for those bubbles because they'll hinder me. Oh, wait. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's just keep moving. I don't think we're going to be worried about that. Alright, we timed our jump precisely. we got to watch out for the terrain. And I don't think... Yeah, we got to hit that. And hit up left. And then hit upwards. Oh, great. I'm going to drown. Or not. Since that's a good thing. Oh, great. Got about a minute or so left. Yeah. Yeah, when you're underwater, you can actually jump higher. Oh, great, I forgot. I'm on top of those platforms. I forgot. Alright, let's just keep moving. We've got about 40 or so seconds. Oh, great, I missed. And we made it all the way down. And that's good. Yeah, we gotta wait for this platform to drop down so that way we can head under and hit the switch. Alright, that takes care of things down here. And we made it all the way up. Provided I can make it. I'm not gonna make it. And we get an extra five seconds. So that's good. And I don't think we're going to make it, but the time to get the A rank is a little more consistent. And it's a good thing. So now we can just hit the switch. Alright, and we head up and we reach the end. Hopefully, and we can conclude the Seaside Hill Classic challenges. Though, overall, it wasn't that bad of a challenge. It's just that you need to time your jumps right underwater. But, for plot convenience, what can you do? At least you're doing better, that much is certain. And with all the classic Seaside Hill challenges defeated, we see Seaside Hill partially restore itself. And I say that as a good thing, because in order to restore it completely, 
we need to make sure we complete everything. But we still have a long way to go before we can finally beat this game and get it over with. And that's about it. I thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I get another music track, which is Ungravitify. And I'll see you next time when we tackle the modern Seaside Hill Challenges. This is Mega Man NG, signing off. Peace.